Hey everybody, Mr. On Demand here. This is a requested video on how to backup and restore Kodi. If you don't know what Kodi is, I got a few other videos explaining Kodi, but it's just a media center that you can use to organize all of your video, audio files, and all kinds of stuff. It does way more than that. That's kind of a simplified view of it for you. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into uh, a Cody here and let's go ahead and go to it. Here's Cody. And what you're going to want to do right off the bat is you need to hit the gear icon, go to system, and you need to make sure that under add-ons you have unknown sources uh, selected so that you're able to install from unknown sources. Otherwise you can only install from the Cody repository and that's it. So definitely make sure this is uh, selected. Once you've done that, you need to go to the file manager because inside the file manager is where you're actually going to put the web address where the wizard comes from that you're going to use to actually back up and restore Kodi. So you're also, also going to use this wizard on whatever box or whatever you're using to back up and restore your Kodi build. Um, this particular wizard is not anything uh, particularly special uh, what it is is it's a wizard that I made so that I can install my builds from my server but it also does it from USB drives as well so you're going to get access to my public builds that are also in here let's go ahead and see, uh, let you see the source now this is what you need to type in, and you're going to need to go to the Add Source option, and you're going to need to type this in. Now, you can pause the video right here to write this down, but it's HTTP, MrOnDemandTV.DuckDNS.org. That's going to get you to my server to allow you to install the wizard. So let's go ahead and install that wizard right now. And again, you know, pause this, write that down. You'll need to add that into your sources. Once you've added it into the sources, you're going to leave the file manager get all the way back to the main screen and you're going to find add-ons. Once you go to add-ons, you're going to simply go to the little package here and you're going to install from zip. And once you do install from zip, you're going to select where you're going to install it from zip. You know, that's going to be something that's going to take you there. So uh, what we got is install from zip and you can see that I've got uh, MOD right here i'm going to use mod local i need to use mod local because i'm local on my network for my server but this is the internet uh version of it which doesn't work on my local network um so here's plugin that you're going to see plugin.program.ondemandwizard.zip right here this is the program that you're going to install into Kodi, or called an add-on rather um, so you're going to select that, and it's going to then work on installing it. Now there's On Demand's Wizard, add-on installed. Now if you want to install my build, this is how you would install my build as well. You would install the wizard, and then you would open the wizard and install the build. So let's go ahead and get to the, uh, get to the wizard. Sorry for the delay here. Okay, so it's opening up, and you're going to see across the top here you have build, maintenance, backup, restore, tools, and close. Now the main thing you guys are wanting to know about is backup, restore. If I go to builds, then it would show up uh, builds that you can install if, if there were any builds available right now. Uh, maintenance and backup and restore. So right here we've got backup and restore, and we can backup our build. So if we wanted to backup this build right now, let's say we've you know set a bunch of stuff up we've set up our add-ons and you know etc etc and we want to just back this whole thing up now we would just go to backup and restore and we would back up the build right here it says are you sure you wish to back up the current build build backup and it's going to say please enter a name for the build and we'll just call it backup hit okay and it says is telling us that all of the add-ons and everything, uh, the add-on data folder aren't required. Uh, do you want to include the data? I would include the data for yourself if you're putting this on a flash drive. You're not trying to make it as small as possible for somebody to download off the internet. So go ahead and include the data. And it's creating the zip file. Would you like to add the following skin 
to the folder. Now I have this, the Titan Vanilla skin uh, installed on here. And so if you have a custom skin you've installed for your build, you're going to obviously tell it, yes, you want to add the skin because you're going to want your skin there. Now the backup is successful and it's telling me exactly where the backup is located. So it's under C users, Mr. On Demand, App Data, Roaming, Cody, My Builds. And so that backup.zip file, that's the zip file you need to put onto and copy it to your flash drive. So once you've created the once you've backed the build up it's in that location so you got to go to your pc to that location and then copy the zip file to the flash drive this is how i do it um i don't really create builds on an android device it's way too difficult uh and it's way too time consuming to create a build on an android device i really recommend you use a pc with a mouse and keyboard where you can copy and paste and type in all of your uh, stuff quickly and easily from documents for your passwords for any uh, any subscriptions you have so you can set everything up uh, quickly uh, once you have saved the build onto the flash drive you can then take the flash drive over to a box and install the build from there and th the next step we're going to do is just that Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your USB drive, you're going to plug it into your computer. So let's go ahead and go over to the PC. Here's my PC right here, and we're going to go ahead and plug this into the USB 3 port. And then we're going to see my drive right here. Now this drive is not formatted correctly. On purpose, I want to show you, you need to format this drive. So you're going to see that it's in FAT32 here, and that is not what you want to plug this into your Android box. You need to format this as XFAT right here, though so this is important. So make sure you format the flash drive that you're going to use on your boxes to transfer your builds to, to, uh, uh, as XFAT. I would also recommend you copy the wizard uh, over in order to uh, be able to do the backup and restore uh, without having to go through my server that way you have it on the flash drive just in case my server is down because it's a it's not uh, something that i necessarily keep up all the time uh, i try to but sometimes it's i'm doing maintenance or it's getting upgraded and so it might be down for a couple of days so it's best to have the wizard available uh, on the flash drive. So that zip file, uh, you can take and copy that zip file from my server onto the flash drive as well. You can just go to any web browser and type that address in that I gave you in the beginning of this video in Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever you want. And you can actually download that zip file and then you can go ahead and put it onto this flash drive as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and hit start. Formatting will erase all the data on this disk. We're going to hit OK. So now the drive has been formatted and it is ready to use in the uh, Android box that you would want to put it in. So on some of your Android boxes, you may want to uh, check the settings because sometimes it blocks out you being able to actually uh, get access and load files from the flash drive. There are security settings on a lot of these devices. And so you'll want to double check those settings to make sure that you're allowing Kodi to be able to have access to be able to install files from the flash drive as well. Uh, that's just a, a little tidbit of information if you get stuck and you're not able to install, plus making sure it's in XFAT, uh, obviously. So remember that location I told you where the backup was going to be for the uh, for Cody? So if I go to my C drive and I go into my users and I go to Mr. On Demand and then I go to App Data, Roaming, and then go down to Cody. I'm going to have my builds right here. Now you can make a shortcut on your desktop for that. But there is backup right there. There is the build. So if I were to copy this and I go copy and then I go ahead and I put it onto the D drive, which is the flash drive that we just formatted. I now have the backup file 
on the D drive. Now let's go ahead and go over to Kodi on our Android box and see how to install that. Okay, now we're in inside Kodi, and what I'm going to do is we're going to go to add-ons and we're going to go down to the wizard. Let's go to the wizard. And we're going to go to backup and restore. So re restore tools. Build pack. To erase your current build, then install a local or external stored backup. Yes. Now you can see we've got the ES ESD ISO and we've got the backup.zip off of the flash drive. And if I select that, it's going to now install that build. Would you like to force close Kodi or reload profile? So what you have to do after you've installed a new build is you need to force close it and then you're going to reopen Kodi back. Then once you restart Kodi back up, and it's going to give you a message. It seems that the skin has been set back to estuary. Would you like the skin set to Titan Vanilla? Because remember I added that skin when we first installed the, when I first uh, backed up the build, but I'm gonna hit no, cause I don't want that. If you're interested in that skin, I have a complete tutorial video on the Titan Vanilla skin. I think it's the best skin available in Cody. That's just my opinion, because it actually is able to make your Cody look like more different types of skins all in one skin than any skin available out there so if you want it to look like estuary like this you can if you want it to look like the old confluence cody you can if you want it to make it look a variety of other ways i mean you can do that too that being said that's it um it's really that simple to back up and restore your cody build number let's recap so what you want to do is the first thing you do is you go ahead and you get my wizard from my from my uh, server. You can download the wizard to a flash drive and install it from zip there, or you can just install it straight from the server. I showed you the server address at the beginning of the video. Once you've installed the wizard, you open the wizard up and you're going to go to the backup and restore section. Once you go there, you're going to simply just do a backup. Once you do the backup, it backs it up to the local set area on your C drive under your user account under Kodi. And it tells you that location when it finishes the backup. So you're going to look at that location and it's going to be in that folder. That's where you have to go get that zip file that you just made the backup of. Once you get that zip file, you can copy that zip file to the USB flash drive like this. And you can go ahead and then restore it from the USB flash drive on any device you own, whether that's a, a NVIDIA Shield or whether it's a Formula Box or whether you have a ONN box, you can use the USB drive to go ahead and install that backup of Kodi on there. So once you have a fully made backup, a fully made build, you have it on your flash drive. You can always reinstall that build. Then you'll have a flash drive of the build. And I recommend you go in and you download the zip file for the wizard and put that on the flash drive as well. That way when you go to back, you go to restore the build, you don't have to type in that address that I showed you at the beginning of this video. All you have to do is put this in and go and install from zip. And then you install the wizard and then you then you go ahead and restore the backup that you have of the build that you wanted to make. I also recommend you do your build on a PC. It's much better to do it on a Windows PC, much easier and much faster because you can open documents, you can copy and paste into Kodi your all of your information whether it be a youtube api key you have so that you're going to be able to watch trailers properly or whether it is uh logins and passwords for different uh subscriptions that you have whatever they might be makes it much much easier for you to go ahead and get it all set up then once you back up the build you don't have to re-input all of that information you just have the build ready to go onto your box and the builds boom you got your add-on set up you got your you got your uh you'll have your uh, skin set up with the colors and the scheme the way you like it and you can enjoy having cody your way 
uh, the same on all your boxes without having to redo another build for every single device. You'll have one build you can just install on all the devices. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, leave a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my Telegram group. If you have questions or need more help on this, subscribe to over there and DM me and uh, or ask some people in the group. Uh, you'll probably get some uh, some good help there. I'll see you all later. You guys have a great day.